And tracking technology is a game changing technology. And not just that, it's actually a must when it comes to uh, some VR and especially mixed reality applications. It will be more important once uh, mixed reality will move outdoors. Now the Quest 3 and well as other uh, meta headsets, including the Quest 3 Press Pro, will receive uh, updates uh, to the OS that will improve the hand tracking performance. We can talk about that and what's so special about the Quest 3 and its hand tracking. Uh, this is a tweet, by the way, posted on July 21st, 2023 on Twitter by Boz, uh, which is a, a CTO in Meta. Some exciting hand tracking updates coming soon to Quest with a version 56. We're already on uh, at uh, 57 as of the time making this video. Uh, latency improvement up to 50-40% uh, latency reduction in topical use and up to 75% during fast movement. You'll be able to check out the fast movement in action on uh, live sport, VR workout, or a demo app we build called Move Fast, available now on App Lab. You also mentioned in the reply of we are at SDK, we are introducing two new experimental APIs to unlock two new experiences. Uh, simultaneous hands and controllers, what they call multimodal, and controller-driven hand pose, CapSense hands. And this is actually what you see here when you can hold the controller and with the hands, it recognizes them both rather than before. Uh, if you look at the resources on, on, on Oculus.com, uh, which again needs to be updated, uh, you see some uh, entry limitation, occlusion, noise, controller plus hands. Controllers in hands, again, this is uh, should, uh, should be updated, are not currently tracked at the same time. App should expect either hands to be tracked or controllers to be tracked, but not both at the same time. So you can see me trying the uh, App Lab app uh, dimensions called Move Fast. And basically, they just try to showcase uh, the improvement in the latency again, 40% latency reduction and up to 75 uh, during fast movement, which again is very important, especially for workout apps and other type of apps. Really want to make sure users are moving fast, like maybe uh, some kind of fighting game, for example workout apps, uh, you know, and so on. So uh, you can see it here, and it actually uh, responds very, very well. So I can really feel that, again, there is of course a slight delay, it's not perfect, but definitely uh, you, you should see significant improvement. And again, this is software based, so you don't actually need to have the Quest 3 to enjoy that uh, improvement. Still, the problem persists, of course, when it comes to occlusion. So if I put my two hands one above each other, it actually loses tracking of the hand behind it and gets kind of uh, crazy, as you can see. So again, this is very important uh, to uh, solve properly. So both hands can be tracked. Now, of course, there's some perfect solution, but again, uh, like Manus, for example. But again, this is using gloves and this is really good, again, if you want to put something into motion capture. So the question is, what are we going to do again? Something without gloves and how well is going to be tracked on the Quest 3? What's improvement actually done in order to make and tracking better on the Quest 3? And by the way, Meta already posted uh, a post on Meta.com on July uh, 20, 2023. What you see here, where they mentioned uh, we can expect even more improvements to come as we launch Quest 3 later this year, providing an immersive interaction experience. Stay tuned. All right, first of all, this is a video was posted on Meta.com official YouTube channel. Uh, they actually demonstrate uh, the differences. The video is called Hand Tracking 2.2 Latency Improvements. And it actually compares 2.1 to 2.2, showing also in slow motion so you can actually see the latency differences. So you can see how it improves when doing fast movements uh, with your hands. And of course, you can see the uh, video controller as well. So basically, you can actually see uh, the latency between uh, when the hands is registered compared to when the control is registered. Of course, if it's, if there is a delay, uh, you want to minimize it. So uh, you want to make sure where your hands is actually located. It will be as well as close as possible with time proximity uh, where it's actually presented on the screen to the user. So again, if you haven't updated uh, to the latest version of the OS with the UN Tracking 2.2, you can do that and try it out yourself. 
Now, this was posted on the Oculus.com developer's blog, and basically it mentioned we are also introducing fast motion mode, FMM, an evolution of high frequency tracking with additional improvements designed to make fast-paced games even more responsive. And they actually mentioned the move fast demo up there. Uh, we can basically just uh, the, the, the sampling rate uh, is going to be higher, probably as a negative impact on battery life and maybe performance. Again, not sure. Uh, basically, kind of uh, if you want to push it further for certain apps that really require very high precision hand tracking. Now, the other things that, uh, again, are still questionable uh, for me, and I haven't found information, exact information about it, but basically, again, if with new hardware, uh, probably, again, better uh, tracking cameras and sensors, we can expect the Quest 3 to have more accurate and responsive tracking, especially when, when uh, fast-moving hands. Uh, also, uh, it might work well, better in low light, and uh, with a wider field of view, um, slightly larger field of view, we can expect the tracking to be even better. Now, the Quest 3 will also take views of the side cameras, which they are facing basically downwards, uh, in order to track uh, parts of your body, including your elbows, shoulder, wrist, and torso. Uh, this uses uh, advanced computer vision, uh, which uh, what they called inside out body tracking, IOBT. Using IOBT makes a huge difference in advanced motions like jumping jacks, shoulder presses. Notice that in this video. So this is something you can expect, of course, in the Quest 3 to have uh, really advanced full body tracking and uh, very, very accurate, with different degrees of movement that will be actually tracked. Even if your hands or some body parts are actually out of the view of the camera, it still will be able to kind of uh, fill in the gap and project the movement accurately. Of course, it does that uh, with the combination of uh, tracking the head, uh, headset location, uh, uh, your body movement, of course, with the controllers, if you're using the controllers or if you're using just your hands. So basically, the ability to track your hands accurately uh, will also lead to even better uh, tracking. Again, this is using computer vision. So again, the better the hand tracking, if you decide to use the ha the, your hands and other controllers, will be used by the algorithm in order to create really uh, fantastic results as they actually showcase here in this video. And later this year, they're, they're planning to also release um, uh, generative legs, which basically fill in your legs uh, placement very accurately and be available for Quest 2, Quest 4, and Quest 3 as well. So again, it's not exclusive for the Quest 3, but again, it's not available on the original Quest, it'll be available for Quest 2, Quest 3, uh, Quest 3, and Quest Pro. Now, I haven't found official information about the exact specification, just kind of trying to uh, dig here and there, again, nothing official. So again, we can expect again, the game tracking to be better with uh, 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 advanced uh, front-facing camera. This should have, I think, uh, better aperture. Um, I think for what I've read, it's going to be like uh, around f2.2 or f2.0. So it should work better in uh, low light conditions. So as you can see improvement in there. And the focal length uh, should be around the 30 millimeters, I think in the 35 millimeter equivalent. Uh, again, to capture the hand tracking in a very wide angle. So it needs to be a wide angle lens, one angle lenses. Yeah, so again, I wish they just provide uh, all the difference, the differences when it comes to hardware specification. But overall, I think that uh, the new hardware should, uh, we can expect it to provide several improvements over the cameras of the Quest 2, uh, which uh, will result in more accurate and responsive for hand tracking and uh, basically allow users to enjoy much better uh, experiences in apps and games where hand tracking is used or sometimes even required. Now, although the Quest 3 again definitely appears to the consumer market and uh, although there are really huge price differences, it will be competing to some degree with the Vision Pro and the Vision Pro doesn't have any controllers, so it's solely relied on amazing hand tracking to really work well. So the question is how, what will be the differences between the two? I do expect the Vision Pro to have a much better hand tracking uh, experience overall, but again, the price is, uh, well, the device is priced accordingly. So eventually we should expect a much better hand tracking on the Quest 3, which uh, resolve around both hardware and software uh, to give you a really fantastic um, experience alongside, of course, also other type of technologies that will be used the hand tracking as well, alongside some v uh, computer vision algorithms and AI 
to deliver really a fantastic all around uh, kind of body tracking, some simulated, some tracked. But at the end of the day, it will be how we translate into amazing apps and games. This is uh, yet to be seen. Uh, again, I hope if I find more uh, detailed information about the hardware, I'll share with you in the comment section or in the description. So just watch out for that. And um, that's about it. If you know more, let us know in the comment section below if you're able to fish some more uh, interesting information. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.